If there's one boat that was going to excel in leg three of the ocean race, it must surely be Boris Herman's team Militia. Notorious for being pretty robustly built, the 12,000 mile leg through the Southern Ocean was exactly what this boat was built for. And as they go around Cape Horn, it looks like they were right all along because Team Militia led around the notorious landmark. Militia first at Cape Horn! Yay! It's been one hell of a leg and one hell of a story as well because at one stage, Kevin Escoffier's PRB Holsim was 500 miles ahead of the fleet. Well, that margin got eaten up and we've seen loads of lead changes since. With all four teams safely round Cape Horn, it's a sprint up to Itajai and the finish. But it's a dogfight between Malizia and PRB who are currently neck and neck. Boris's team have just sent back this video that gives a really good impression of what life is like aboard in the final stretches. Take a look at this. control. It's uh, on the borderline of uh, amazing fun and absolutely terrifying because uh, we're just on the edge of uh, keeping in control. The boat's really proving its, uh, its legs. It's a real off-road of this one. And uh, yeah, if we can hang on, we're going to gain some miles. So, we're going to hang on. But the uh, the water and the waves is just, you know, like 50% of the water is just white. They are, the, the white caps are just being whipped off, the water's being whipped off the surface of the water because the wind's so strong. We've had crazy wind all night, from zero to 52 knots, from every direction. And uh, it's been pretty tough. But we're going good. We're strong now. Look at this surf! It's beautiful. The boat is passing the sea very nicely. Oh, this looks amazing. Yes. Now it's accelerating. I can feel it. It's a crazy feeling under the feet, no? Yes. Or also in my stomach. <laughs> 24. Can you tell me a little bit uh, how is the race doing right now? So we are leading here uh, 20, 30 miles uh, in front of Paul Sim, depending on how you measure uh, to the finish or in, according to the weather. We are a bit more west and we think that's a good position to be in. We had amazing strong wind, the craziest night ever, so stormy. Um, we were like going to biggest sails, from biggest sails to smallest sails a few times. How many yeah. knots? Um, we saw 53 knots. Oh, wow. so basically, the last night was really what you expect in the Southern Ocean. And uh, everyone is pretty tired today. Wow! And now we are kind of getting away from this low pressure into a high, uh, high pressure zone, where we will end up upwind until uh, Friday, Saturday. And then again, uh, we're foreseeing um, 50 knots. Um, uh, yeah, 50 knots actually downwind. So we'll have another really big one just before arriving. Wow, wow. This is we can see from the Wow! <laughs> Look at that! I love it! Uh, it These are my too. favorite moments. Look at this. 27 knots of wind, so the conditions are really unstable. Or, or, or a big acceleration. Wow, boys! Wow, this is a 
change speed, no? How much speed now? 25, 26, 27. Wow. Wow, another nice break. How does it look? With an albatross behind. <laughs> To not spot Peter. Okay, I think I can come back now because yeah, okay. this shot was the shot yeah, of the yeah. day. Okay, I slow down more. Yay! Yes! <laughs> Happy flight captain again. Alright! Yeah! <laughs> First sunny days in four weeks. Huh? Yes. So happy. Great. <laughs> 